Konnichiwa, everybody, and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We told everyone that we were going to Japan. The number one most recommended thing for us to do was something called Team Lab Planet. So today we're making the trip to this interactive, immersive art exhibit, which is unlike anything we've seen before and one of the coolest things we've ever experienced. We'll explore more of Tokyo's convenience stores, shop at the biggest Disney store in Japan, have some more fun with claw machines, have dinner in Omai d Yokocho, the iconic narrow alleyway filled with small food stalls and bars. Come with us on this adventure. So, good morning. We're in 7 Eleven again. This has been like our favorite place in Japan. I've been getting myself like these canned iced coffees, and I noticed that they actually have iced coffee here and they have these iced. Cups and you just bring it up to the coffee machine, and supposedly it's like really good iced coffee. So I'm gonna do that today. <laughs> iced coffee large. It's so weird that they just have like ice and cups to this o l f No, this is what like I want. I like, know. It's like they read my mind. You know how much I love iced coffee. Look, you can get a, like a cup of fruit and you bring it to this machine and it makes it into a smoothie. Why is 7 Eleven in Japan so much better? All right, let's try it. This tastes like a Starbucks iced coffee. I'm not even joking. <laughs> so it's much better than the canned coffees? It tastes fresh. Pro tip it's roughly like the same price as a can of coffee. So, you know, I'm, why did I find this on like our final day in Tokyo? Oh, I'm so annoyed. So, we're up early in the morning. Not a lot of places are open, but one of the places that's open is Family Mart. And this is kind of like another convenience store they have in Japan. And it has a lot of the same stuff that you'd find in 7 Eleven. But one of the things that everybody told us to get is we need to get the Fami Chicken, which is like a classic. And it says on the packaging, taste of soft, juicy chicken, the boneless type. I couldn't have written that better myself. <laughs> It's soft and like. It's like a giant chicken nugget. Yeah. Oh my god, so soft, so juicy. I'm not sure how to describe this. You can see how juicy it is. Crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. I could totally see myself if I was living in Japan, just going to Family Mart, like on the go. I'm like, I need a quick snack. Let me get myself a, a Family Chicky. <laughs> five out of five, Peters. Or, well, we'll see. We'll see if what the ordinary adventure star. This thing is so incredibly greasy. So, you know, it's gonna be good. <laughs> the greasier, the better, right? This is like a cross between a chicken nugget and like a piece of like chicken from like Kentucky Fried Chicken or something. Like it tastes like fried chicken, but it's in the form of a chicken nugget. Okay, I'll finish it. <laughs> Or no adventure car. When we were up at the register, we saw a big advertisement for this new one. It's like garlic and teriyaki. They also had a spicy one too, which now I'm like, I wish we would have bought that. But this looks good and it smells good too. Mmm. Oh my god, this is even better. <laughs> Holy crap. This reminds me when we went to Hawaii and we went to Itchy Butt and we got that like Korean fried chicken. It's so good. Five out of five Kitras. Try it. Mmm. <laughs> Juku, right next to our hotel, is Kabuki Cho Tower. And we're gonna go check that out right now. It's kind of like a new entertainment mall complex. Right when you first walk in, it looks like there's a food hall. And it is so cute. It's like, it feels kind of like modern, but like authentically Japanese at the same time. Like a lot of the restaurants and stuff around here are like, you could tell that they've been around for a while. They're old, they're small. This is like a huge, like open area. Dang, I feel like we should have c a m e in here last night when we were like having trouble finding a spot. Because there's like so many seats in here. Last night we were in the mood for some gyoza. We could have just gotten a whole pot, a whole pan of gyoza here. <laughs> And here's a listing of all the different restaurants they have in this food hall. Oh my god, they have like a little bit of everything in here. I'm sure it's like very touristy and not like traditional, but. Yeah, but it looks good. Yeah. I'm, still, I'm sure it's still good. Someone just left their trash. It's art. It's called art. Look it up. 
So Kitra has really gotten addicted to the gachapon machines and the claw machines. So we found another place, it's called Meet Tokyo and it's in Shinjuku. So we're gonna go in there and see how we can waste some money. Oh my God, look at this prize. It's a Super Mario mushroom lunch box. It's cool, but I was looking at this crane and it only has one of the tongs. And it looks like you might have to put it onto that thing to relate. It's like a Indiana Jones kind of like Goonies booby tra booty trap. I'm setting booty traps. Booby traps. That's what I said. So I'm setting booby traps. Wow. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I could. I don't think I'm skilled enough for that. These ones are interesting because it's not like you just got to grab it. It's on these holes. So you got to kind of push it into the hole of the pole. So it's a little bit more complicated. Oh my god, look at how adorable Sleeping Lotso is. No, my problem is like, I don't want a big one because I don't have enough room in my suitcase. So I gotta find like the smaller ones. There is one over here that's like literally just a soap dispenser. That one could be kind of cool. It says that sleeping Baybacks is easy. <laughs> I wonder why. And then they have Chip and Dale, and Dale is the devil apparently? And Chip is a... A witch? A warlock? These are so cute. Chip and Dale, and they all have like different colored bow ties on. But I think the way this one works is that little thing, it goes across, and then you have to hit the button for it to hit like exactly at the right time. Should I try to get one? Try it. What I'm loving about this place is you could actually use your Suka card, which makes it dangerous because it's like imaginary money. Like this isn't, it's not physical coins. So. Pray for me. I'd like to thank Aura Frames for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I was just thinking, we spend lots of money on a good phone with a great camera so we can take lots of photos and then we never look at the photos ever again. Aura can help you see all those photos and videos again. Like these photos from our trip to Japan. Amazing memories. And looking over at her frame in her kitchen makes my day better. It's so easy. All you have to do is open the box, set it up. It takes about two minutes. You select the photos and videos you want to display on the app and magically they are on your frame. And the best part is you can add your whole family to your Aura account and they can select photos from wherever they are and send it to the frame. And honestly, that's one of the reasons this makes such a great gift is because it helps family and friends stay connected even when they can't be together. Right now, Aura is having a huge sale. They're having $40 off their Carver matte frames. This is gonna be the biggest discount of the entire year. Just head to the link in the description below and use code ORDINARY to get $40 off. This deal is only good until November 28th, so act fast. And remember, use code ORDINARY to get the special discount. And now, back to our adventure. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what? I think you have to get it like exactly, in okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, and there, it does time you, so I got time. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> I hate this. Those ones are hard. Cause like with my eye, <laughs> I thought it was there. And then as soon as I stopped it, I immediately knew that I didn't have it. This is where Peter comes in and is the dashing hero and wins one for me. I got this. <laughs> By the way, before she hit record is, you're not gonna get this. I was like, no offense honey, but there's no way in heck you're gonna get this. Oh, I'm way Oh off. my god, Peter! I, okay, we're trying this again. We're trying, okay, oh. I was. You weren't even close. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. It hit the pink. You saw that, right? It yeah. touched the pink. It's okay, we've, we've spent too much time and money on this one. Let's find a, a different one. Let's move on. The thing about this place, I think it's a chain, is there's like so many levels and you just keep on walking and walking through aisles upon aisles of claw games and gotcha This one is food. There's so much food. There's cookies, there's chips, there's like cakes. Should I try to win us some food? <laughs> oh my God, look, they have the cake that's from Epcot. So Kitra has found her favorite cat. Oh no, God, I was way off. Ugh. Oh, nope, no. <laughs> not even close. You got this. You got it. You have to. Oh. oh! I just realized that we have a long day ahead of us and now I have to carry this all day. That's why I didn't want like a huge one. 
but it's okay. It was worth it. Oh, I think we've reached the photo booth level. Yeah, I think Kitcher wants to do this one. My palette. I don't know what it was me. <laughs> this is so funny. So you can get all sorts of accessories, or there's even outfits that you can get for your photos. So how did how did we do? <laughs> We had no idea what we were doing. Everything is in Japanese. What's going on? We eventually figured it out. Yeah. And I'm excited that Peter actually did this with me because I've been wanting to do this. He's like, I don't want to. And then. <laughs> We finally did. And you look so beautiful. Thank you. You look equally as beautiful. I look great. If only I really looked like that. <laughs> and of course, the basement is filled with gachapon machines. What is this? It's like little like deep fried foods, but with legs. Like, Peter needs one of those. Okay, got a little gizmo to put on my iPhone cord. Oh my god, they have a Batman from the original Batman, Batmobile. I don't even understand. Do you win the Batmobile? So a lot of the machines in here are like very similar to the ones we saw yesterday. But I'm, we are finding some different ones, like this one. It's like some hamsters and they're all like, either have magnifying glasses or like binoculars. They're so so we just happened to come across the Disney flagship store. This is the biggest Disney store in all of Japan. They have the cutest little plushes of the Tramp and Marie. And the coolest thing is, you look on the back, this is actually like a coin purse. Amazing. And you can clip it onto your bag. I feel like that's useful, right? Especially here in Japan. And I heard, I'm not 100% sure yet because we've, we haven't been to Tokyo Disney yet, but I've heard that the Disney stores here in Tokyo have slightly different merch than they have in the park. Yeah. Just in case you're wondering why we're in here. <laughs> I've heard it's like all different. Yeah. Is it really? I like that this bag has Mickey's face on it and then it has some Japanese writing. Yeah. What do you think it says? <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Why is everything so cute in Tokyo? Oh, they actually do have a Disney flagship Tokyo bag as well. So all the big Disney stores would have like a special Mickey, and this was the one for Japan. So next up, we traveled about an hour outside of the city to go to what people have told us is the number one thing we must see in Tokyo, and that's Team Labs Planets. And this is basically a museum. It's like one of those interactive museums where you like become one with the forest and you uh, walk through water and stuff. So it, it's gonna be cool. We bought our tickets well in advance, which I recommend you do. It does sell out. It was about $50 American for both of us. Immerse, perceive, and become one with the art. <laughs> In this museum, you will walk barefoot as you experience the artworks with your entire body. So I didn't tell Kitra that she'd be walking barefoot through water for this. Yeah, it's funny. We watched a lot of videos like in preparation for this trip, and whenever anybody was at this place, he like turned it off. He's like, I don't want you to see what it is. So I was like, okay. Yeah. So I'm excited. What is going on? Hello. Oh, that's so weird. We are walking uphill. I'm not the one that's gonna fall. I know. We got this. Whoa. It's like, I'm walking in a mound of like silly putty or something. This is so interesting. <laughs> this whole room is like this. <laughs> It's like walking in a room of like love sacks or those like yeah yeah. I just want to lay in here. I want this to be my bedroom or something. Oh. Wow. Whoa. 
Whoa, look up, honey. Oh my god. This is insane. This is, wow, I don't ever want to leave this room. So there's a mirror down there, and then it goes all the way up. Where does it stop? Oh, there's a mirror up there. Yeah. I can see us, kind of. <laughs> you see us? Whoa. Whoa! Am I controlling this magic? I feel like Elsa. This is like so magical. I can't even tell you. So now it makes sense why they make you walk through water because you're walking on this this mirror, and they probably don't want to get marks on it. Whoa! Whoa. We just jumped to light speed. Feeling the art, especially since I took my shoes off. <laughs> this is so cool. I feel like video is not gonna capture how cool that was to experience in person. It was like living in infinity. Yeah. You just couldn't see the end of it. I brought my bathing suit. <laughs> Ooh, this one's kind of warm. It's like milky. Yeah, it looks a little... Oh, wow. Oh my god. Wow. They swim away from you when you like come up close to them. So even this room is gigantic. I it does have mirrors on every single side, so it looks like it goes on further than it actually does. But it's it's still big regardless. Also, side note, it smells like really good in here. This whole exhibit has smelled like really nice. Oh, did it just break because yeah, you touched it? Yeah, I think so. Should I try to touch another yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. I don't like to break them. Right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. You totally broke it. I feel bad, but it turns into like rose petals, so. Yeah. Or like flower petals. Just in a warm bath with all my fish friends. Oh wow, so it turns into almost like a little reef. Yeah. Oh, oh, watch out. Couldn't catch oh, them. They're going fast. I want to do it. It's like water's dropping. And because of the flicker, you can actually. Oh. oh, did I do that? Did you do it? I did. Oh my god, I'm controlling this one. No one is in this room. I don't think people know about this room. Do it again. That is so cool. Favorite color. Do you want a photo? Let's bring I
You're trying to be Mario? This place is cool. This is really cool. Come to Tokyo, you gotta come. Your glasses look cool right now. Thank you. <laughs> what is going on here? It's making me dizzy. It's making me dizzy. Okay, we're supposed to sit in the center. projector and a mirrored floor can do. We just like laid there for I want to say like 15 minutes. We had a moment. Yeah, we had we a had moment. like a real moment. It yeah. was truly something special. What do you think of this room? It's cool, but it's probably my least favorite out of all of them. It's, I agree. It, it's very tranquil and it's Interesting how the flowers kind of move up and down, and they're real flowers, so it smells really good in here. It's just like too crowded in here, I feel. I agree. <laughs> the next part, we're going into this thing called the garden, and they provide you with some nice sandals to wear. Okay, wow. I feel like I'm on an alien planet right now, and all these eggs are about to burst open. This was a really cool experience. Yeah. Really cool. Definitely worth the money. I feel like the coolest part, oh, that's hard to choose. But maybe like the coolest part was with the light room. The and then light the room, fish cool. room, and then the flower room, and then this room. There isn't a part that isn't cool. Yeah. I highly recommend this. Yeah. It, it literally is an hour on train or in car mm -hmm. outside of like main Tokyo, mm -hmm. but it is worth it. So it's like 4.30 p.m. and the only thing we've eaten today is that chicken you saw we, we ate earlier. We had one yeah. piece of chicken this big. And I just realized how hungry I was. Yeah. So yesterday we had all that food. Today, almost nothing. And we are so far away from things. So we're, it's like an hour to get back to this, where we need to be. Yeah, but we'll get some, hopefully some good food. I mean, I know it's gonna be good. We're in Japan, yeah. what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I almost feel bad that we didn't eat. I lunch. know, we're like, yeah. we don't have enough time. There's so much like we have in right here. Okay, well, speaking of time. So we've made it back to Shinjuku, and we're going to try to find Moide Yokocho, which is a small alleyway filled with like restaurants and bars, each with seat like under a dozen people. And it's been there forever. Sounds awesome. When we first got here, it was a little bit intimidating because all of these restaurants are very, very small. So we found this place that served garlic gyoza and you know, we were craving it, we were hungry, we haven't eaten all day, and it ended up being pretty good. I'd say even better than last night. Yeah, this was a place on the second floor. The walls were filled with autographs of people, I don't know, I'm sure they were famous, like <laughs> anime people, and there was a pro wrestler. Yeah, we ordered on an iPad, it was fun. It's weird, a lot of these places allow smoking indoors while eating, which is not something I'm used to and most require that if you go in there, you have to eat a meal or two skewers and a drink purchase. And they also have a cover charge. So that, but for that cover charge, you get a small appetizer. And we found this yakitori place that they gave you like a tiny pasta salad, which honestly was not that great. I, I think that's just like, they need to give you something for that cover charge. Yeah, but we ended up getting a few skewers. I got the chicken thigh, This the sauce on this made it so tasty. I got some pork belly, 
and it was so fatty, it melted in my mouth. I also paid for the beef, which was the most expensive at 900 yen, compared to the others that were like 300 yen each. It was worth it. It was so good. And you got a few things as well. Yeah, I went a little bit more, not as risky. I got a fried rice ball, which was like a little bit burnt, but it tasted so good. And I also got a cheese and bacon skewer, which was super cheesy, just what I loved. And I think my favorite thing was the sweet green pepper skewer. That was like surprisingly good. And these places are very tight quarters, only eight seats in the place that we found. And somehow there's an upstairs. Yeah. I don't know, it's like climbing into like an attic space. <laughs> and above the counter, they have like currency from around the world. I think showcasing how many people come to this place from around the world. But like these streets are like so picturesque. Yeah. Just walking around them feels like what you imagine, yeah. you know? I'm so happy we went here, like honestly. Because I feel like there's so much of Tokyo that we have not got to explore. Yeah. And there's so much food that we haven't got to try. Like. Yeah. And this is like one of those things that I think is real history, but it's also become kind of a tourist trap, trap of sorts. Oh yeah, it was yeah. definitely a tourist trap, but I'm glad we did it and I yeah. highly recommend going there. It kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone a little. <laughs> I mean, definitely. We were like, we did a lap at least like 10 times before we were like, okay, let's see if we could sit here. <laughs> we're back at the hotel. When we were in the Disney store, we were super rushed. And I just thought I'd show you guys what I got because I did grab a few things. So first of all, I got the bag. Super cute and super handy. Highly recommend when you come to Japan, get some sort of reusable bag to carry with you because you will have trash and you need to something to put it in. First up, I got this Lucifer like shower cap thing. I think it's for actually when you get out of the shower and your hair is wet. I got this random kind of like makeup case. I just thought it was really cute how it's clear with Mickey and Minnie in there and then it's like this really cute purple color. I got all four of the hand sanitizers because I love this like little spray hand sanitizer. It's perfect to keep in the purse. I got Stitch. I got the little clams from Alice in Wonderland. I got Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I got Mickey Mouse. I got this Winnie the Pooh keychain. I don't even love Winnie the Pooh that much, but this is the cutest thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's small, you could just like clip it on your bag. I'm gonna become that girl now who just has like stuff hanging from her bag. <laughs> I'm already wearing like my lounge flies. Listen, I'm turning 40 this year. I'm going through a midlife crisis. Okay, just let me do my thing. So I did end up getting this little lady in the tramp thing. And it's actually had a reusable bag inside of it. So I think this is like actually just a reusable bag and then maybe you clip that to the bag, but I'm gonna use it as like a wallet, like a coin purse. So I could put all my Japan coins in there. And then last but not least, I got this Mickey hair tie. My number one prize of the day. I, I think I'm pretty good at the clock game. Not to brag, either I'm really good or this one was just easy to get, but he's so cute. So tomorrow we're gonna be heading to the Tokyo Disney Resort. So if you aren't subscribed, hit subscribe below. Yeah, and we're gonna be there for a long time. So we're gonna make many, many videos and I'm super excited. Yeah, if you wanna see the rest of our videos from our Japan trip, we'll put them right over there. I wanna say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Angela, Jacob, and Kelly. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Thank you all for watching. I mean, thank you. Yeah. Or no, Arigato. Oh my God. Oh no. Arigato for watching. I'm learning, okay? Jeez.